All right, we took this file and added it here. Now we're going to play it so we know where to begin. We don't want that part in there. Hey, everybody, it's Brent. You want to get right before it starts. Right there. Split. Cut that part out. Hey, everybody, it's Brent, Central Arkansas. I'm putting together editing right now. All right, we know how that goes. Get to the end. We don't want me leaving in the video. End on a happy smile. So that's good. Split. Cut the rest out. And there's my beginning. Hey everybody, it's Brent, Central Arkansas. Hey everybody, it's Brent Central Arkansas. I'm putting together editing right now the footage for the Heated Greenhouse Part 3. And I realized I did not do an introduction. Uh, you know, a beginning of the video like I do a lot of times where I talk and tell you what I'm doing, all that sort of thing. So this is the latest on that. And I am going to add this portion to the beginning of the video. And then we'll publish it up for you guys. It's two days to Thanksgiving. If I don't say it, I wish everybody a happy, happy Thanksgiving. And so does my wife. Say hi and happy Thanksgiving, Gina. Hi, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> and there's a little behind the scenes too. So <laughs> take care, guys. Enjoy the video. All right, it's about the time of year, or at least I've got some spare time anyway, to get started on the heated greenhouse. This is where I left out. It kind of turned into a storage or junk pile area while I was doing other things. We need to clean it out, finish putting the floor in, getting the sides up, and well, just finishing it. So anyway, uh, let's get started. I want to bring you in close here just to show you what happens to crappy plastic. This is less than one year. That's why you can't use like Lowe's regular plastic whenever you do a greenhouse or anything like that. If you need a long term, you need UV protected plastic. Okay, it's coming along. Got some trash picked up there. I've got a fawn platform sitting in there just to see how it's going to look. Uh, kind of get an idea what the layout's going to be before I close it in. I've got a 40 gallon reservoir tank there. This one's probably almost assuredly going to be a recirculating hydroponic system. I'll have a fawn going that direction there and one going that direction over there. That's 8 foot and this is 12 foot. So the last time I got material for this thing, besides the new pieces of flooring I got for it just now, I had forgotten to get one of the 2x6 beams here. I didn't get quite enough wood. Uh, but instead of buying more wood, I'm going to reuse one of the boards from the deck right there. I've got it up here. I'm going to cut it down to size and we're going to make use of it. Repurposing stuff. Love it. All right, we've got the floor completely on now. <clears throat> These two pieces were added. And then you'll see here along the edge, I've got a piece of the decking because I'm redoing the deck and I'm going to put that there. Additionally, this I'm making this to where it's well insulated. And instead of putting insulation underneath, I'm going to add decking boards on top so that we create, I don't know, the decking boards are about, what, an inch or so. And the other is about an inch. So we're, we're going to make the insulation more or less solid wood. So we're going to do that along the, along the bottom of the heated greenhouse, along the back over here where the window is, and over here also where the door is. So 
what I'm doing essentially is saving on insulation and also um, adding more st uh, stability by adding these this wood. Now when I'm done, I'm going to paint it a very light color, either off-white or white, something like that. Something that reflects the sun. Now the walls here, here all the way across, and here all the way across are going to be clear, I don't know, vinyl, polyurethane panels, whatever you want to call it, they're clear. And uh, that is so I can maximize the light all the way to the top on two main walls. And even during the winter, I get a lot, a lot of light in this shed area open here. So that's the intent there. So if this is covered, then I need a way to get in and out of the greenhouse that'll let me maximize the 10 by or the 8 by 12 length. So I can use, I plan on putting like a seed starting area right in here. So the ideal place to put the door is in the corner over in here. And that's where I'm going to put a door going in. I thought about putting a, you know, just like a Home Depot door and all that. But I think I'm going to do even more rustic, more redneck, whatever you want to call it. And just reuse some of the wood. So that's my plans. And, uh, well, I guess we need to get started on it. Okay, we're in my shed and I've decided to put the door here and instead of removing the studs, this is wide enough. This is wide enough. It's about, I don't know, two foot, maybe a little bit more. Not a big deal. That's all I need to do is be able to get in and out and get some things in. Now how I'm going to remove this is I'm going to drill into it. In fact, I've already done it with my little hand drill just like this now create a hole so I know where the edge of the stud is here next I take the drill bit that I removed out of the drill and I push it through here and then we'll go around to the other side and you can see where the drill bit came through here and I took just a mark, in this, in, case this, in this case a pin, and marked a little circle around it so I'll know where the hole is, or the edge of the stud here. Did it here, did it up here, and over here. Now I can take and draw a straight line, and then use my sawzall and cut it out. Okay, the door is out. And it's cut perfectly all the way around, so it's completely salvaged, so I can use it as the actual door. Put some hinges on it and some other stuff, I'll show you that later. I used my skill saw to rip the edge here all the way up. And on the bottom, I use a sawzall to cut this piece of 2x4 out that was here on the bottom. You can see from the discoloration here. And I put it as a header here up top and so this is it for this uh, video you can see here I've still got work to do I've got to move the wiring here and add um, electric into the actual greenhouse part itself I've got an access a door now where I can come out here the majority of this wall is now usable and the rest of the greenhouse heated actually a climate controlled both heated and air conditioned so i can grow all year round hottest months and coldest months and uh, really enjoying this build we will talk to you guys later